Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, it's finally here. Welcome to the mini. Bienvenido a la mini. <laughs> Emma and a mini. Plus, <laughs> Apple Maps Fallout continues. People love shopping on iPads. And we've got some viewer tips galore. All that, and you'll be thunderstruck on iPad today. Welcome to the mini. <laughs> iPad Today is brought to you by Go to Meeting with HD Faces from Citrix, the powerfully simple way to meet and collaborate with clients and colleagues anywhere. You can share the same screen and see each other face to face with HD video conferencing, even from an iPad. Sign up for your 30 day free trial today. Visit gotomeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, use the promo code iPad. And by Ford. Featuring lane keeping and adaptive cruise control technology, both designed to improve the overall driving experience. Check out these available systems on the 2013 Ford Fusion and learn even more at Ford.com slash technology. And by the all new Slingbox, which can turn your mobile device into a television. With the new Slingbox, you can watch high def TV on your smartphone, laptop, or iPad anywhere there's an internet connection. Check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. Do, 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 do. Holy crap. I can't believe you're back. I never thought this day would come. How long was I gone? So long. You did shows with who? I did Ma. shows with Shannon Morse. Great. She was amazing. Love her. She's Eileen, gone places. That Eileen kid. Rivera. Love her. Yes. She went places. Well, she we were her we were her fluffer. <laughs> that, was, that was it. Show. Her last show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, She's it, now at Google. Yeah, that's exactly right. right. Yeah, working for YouTube down yep. in uh, yep. down in Los Angeles. Yep. And then last week we took the week off for Thanksgiving. And As by the way, anybody who should. was like, "Where is show 125? This is it." This is 125. We just didn't we didn't have one last Thursday. I, I'm sorry if I didn't explain and that well. And that's enough. why we're talking about the mini because because it's here. And I've you, got mine. That's hey. Wait a minute. That's, that's not the different. mini. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. I got the wrong. Hey. Here's the, this isn't the mini. That's a large brick or something. <laughs> I don't know what that's. Well, made of. I thought you know. I mean, I took this on the cruise. I said, look, I got my iPad Mini, and people people did act strangely. Did, Maybe it was the Windows logo on did it. Did they that, did they think? Oh, he's old. <laughs> poor it's just poor smile. Leo. Just say, he doesn't know any nice. better. He thinks he's got a mini there. Well, I got a mini, a real one. Ooh, oh. yours is LTE, right? It sure is. Yeah. But here's okay. Can we just talk about some of the challenges I've had since I actually turned it on yesterday because it was shipped while we were all out for the holiday, right. so I actually had to wait till I only got it yesterday. Because it was sitting here at the studio. So sad. Oh, that's so hard. So you're in Miami. I'm in, I was in Miami. Miami. Correct. In Benito a Miami. Right. And your mini was here. And I was kind of sad about it. That must have been frustrating, it. yeah. Well, you know why it wasn't frustrating? Because I already have an iPad that right. I like a lot, so I tried not to be too Can I tell you, know, you something? aggressive about it. Remember, I was a little dismissive of the mini because of the lack of the retina display. You sure were. I took it on the cruise and I couldn't, it was all I used. I didn't use the MacBook, I didn't use. The, the Galaxy Note, which was that big thing I had earlier. I, the Mini is a great size. And you said that you spent a lot of time just chilling, reading, Well, that's the problem. Out, right? You don't have a lot of internet. So, which is in some ways good, because the one thing that the Mini doesn't do very well is for text, because it's a lack of retina display. So small text doesn't look great on it. Things like the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. However, the Kindle looked fine. I made the text bigger, and games are great. So I didn't really notice the lack of a retina display. And I have to say, when you're traveling, having something this size is fantastic. So I'm about to go traveling myself. You're going uh, to Paris. I am, yes. I'm going to leave on Saturday. Lucky. I'll be there for a couple of weeks. Oh. And I, I mean, I think it would be really excessive to bring a laptop, which I actually need to bring because I'll be doing TNT from the road. A full-size iPad and a mini iPad. Oh, but you're I'm trying little, to decide. I'm a little worried because I just want to... Bring the mini. And leave the big? Leave the big. <sighs> I haven't touched my big iPad since I got the mini. I'm not kidding. I oh. think the mini is exactly the form factor. It may be the iPad. Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. If you're stuck on an airplane and you got to keep yourself entertained, Fine. you don't miss the retina? No. 
Really? Well, yeah, you missed the retina, but uh, the, the the place where the retina, movies are fine, games are fine. The place where the retina really would be nice is in smaller text. For instance, well, you know, I, I can just show you. It won't be very meaningful to people watching at home because, of course, you're not going to see the full screen. But when you go to the Wall Street Journal, and this is an example of a newspaper where you can't resize the text. Uh huh. Um, you just you can you can see that it's not retina, and it just is a little bit. It's not awful, and you'll probably get used to it. But that's the one place, things like that. Now, the, the New York Times has been updated uh, for the mini, um, which I thought was uh, interesting. But I still think that because of the size of the, you know, you can't really, can you make this, you can't make this any bigger, right? Yeah, the newspaper apps don't really want you to do that. Now, what do you mean it's been updated for the mini? Well, that was what? one of the things that happened when I was gone is they put out a special version for the mini, but I'm not sure what that means either. Because um, this is the same screen size, 1024 by 768, as an iPad 1 and an iPad 2. Uh-huh. Uh, in fact, uh, according to Nontech, they just did their full teardown review. In almost every respect, this is an iPad 2 that just went through the dryer. And it's a shrinky it dink. It's a shrinky dink. Yeah. But let me, let me just, I'm curious what you're going to think. Look at, look at the New York Times. That's the, to me, that was the only thing that bothered me is that it, it, you can tell it's not retina. You, you, you know what this looks like? It looks like a really nice scan. Yes. Doesn't it? It's not super crisp. It's totally doable. You can read it's just doable. fine. But you already know what it should look like. It's a so little it's soft. A tiny bit soft. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the that's the only negative, and it turns out it's not a huge negative. And when you're playing something like you know, I, I because I didn't have internet connectivity, I ended up playing a lot of games, non-internet games like Plants vs Zombies. And because these games have all along been optimized for 1024 by 768 for the display on the iPad, um, it looks fine. It's totally uh, playable. You don't ever say, oh, I wish this was retina. Yeah. It's only on text that you notice that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think you probably should take this with you. I don't think you're going to feel like you're missing out on anything. Maybe a little br and browsing, but the browser's nice because, of course, you can expand stuff. So it's not going to be quite as uh, much of a disadvantage. Um, I am, I am impressed. Right. I, am, okay. I don't I'm know. Now, here's one thing. You've got that smart cover. I think this is a mistake. Um, Apple did oh, not do a good garbage? job. Oh, this garbage? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Do not buy the smart cover. It's funny. I was, uh, was watching me, you know, I was I was propping the mini up next to the big guy this morning over at our desk. And it falls right set. over. And he goes, and I was kind of, I was having a problem, and he goes, no, you don't even have it, like, snapped on the right no, way. And I said, yes, I do. That's the sad <laughs> thing you do. It just doesn't snap on. That. No. It's it's flimsy. Get a better cover. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, and well, it's a we'll shame. We'll have to figure out what that is. Because this I don't is... even have a good one to, to, to. To suggest. Well, right, and this is the default, and mm -hmm. everybody spends forty bucks and gives Apple an extra forty bucks and gets the smart cover, uh, which is fine, I think, on a larger iPad, but mm -hmm. not so good. Notice, and Alex Lindsay pointed this out on the iPad today, when on you're MacBreak. or I'm sorry, MacBreak, when you're resting on the mini cover, you see what an what a isosceles triangle this is. It's not even isosceles, but it's you're resting on a on the smaller side of the wedge. Look at the triangle on your regular iPad, you're resting on a much larger surface, and that makes it less wobbly. Geometry. Geometry. To the rescue. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I have, I, have, I have one more sort of weird little pickle that I'm in with this iPad mini. So I have AT&T on this iPad, which I will stay with to the day I die because I have an unlimited plan. Lucky girl. So I have LTE iPad mini, yeah. What do I do? Because if I add a device to my plan, I lose my unlimited. <laughs> yeah, and you, I easily, easily go over what you, any plan would be. Because you didn't buy I, the Verizon Mini. You bought an AT and T Mini. I bought an AT and T Mini because I'm stupid. You can't well, activate I don't know. it. Well, I can, but I would have to. What do you do? Oh, you activate it as a different person. As a different person. Yeah, so it doesn't won't impact. Or just a different that. account. Yeah, it won't impact that. But isn't that dumb? What if somebody has this problem? If you're unlimited, you're totally screwed. Well, you either have to give it up or you have to have two accounts. If you were replacing your iPad with the Mini, right. you would keep your unlimited exactly. as you have you all along. You just roll it over. But if you have two accounts, it yeah. doesn't matter. These accounts are not tied together in any way anyway. You just create a new account. It won't be unlimited. Yeah, but... Those two will not be tied together. I know, but then I have to pay two different things. It's well, not like yeah. Some, well... Okay, now here's the other way you could do it. Use your big iPad as a hotspot, and uh -huh. then you didn't, you shouldn't have bought the LTE Mini. Well, I noticed, by the way. You actually bought it. I bought the one. 
<laughs> I bought the Wi-Fi for that very reason. Well, no. actually, for a number of reasons. Mostly because I'm cheap. I don't know. I, I feel like I, I, it's, a, it's a real first road problem I've got going on here. But still. You could something. take the SIM and out of your over. big one. Yeah. And I have a SIM cutter. Oh, because it's mini SIM mm -hmm. and little guy. Mm -hmm. ah. But I have the SIM ah. cutter. And you keep the, um, this is a really interesting, but it does work. You keep the original, the part you cut off, you keep it. And when you put it back in the new one, you put them together. They have little SIM holders to you. But I'd have to be going back and forth all the time. That would be stupid. I don't know. I don't, know. That, I, I don't feel like this that's a great solution. This one should be on the Twit account and that one on your personal account. That's all, right. all. I'll pay for it. It's my job. And I do it well. You sure do. You look good, too. <laughs> Looking really good. You look nice today. Thank you. Very nice. Did you lose weight on that trip? You're, you're very happy. Very, very happy that I'm paying for the Wi-Fi on that. <laughs> um, that is an interesting conundrum, but I think it's yeah. not a typical conundrum. Probably Most people not. will replace. Well, I'm not sure that's true. I think some people will say, well, I've got a regular iPad. The mini is a second iPad. It doesn't need... My, my opinion, and I will be very curious when you come home, mm -hmm. but my opinion is it is not a second iPad. It's, your, it, it's a completely full fledged replacement for an iPad 1 or 2. If you're coming from a Retina, then you're going to have to decide. But I decided that I'm going to go with the Mini and not use my iPad 3. I just don't feel the need because I just love lying in bed. Feel how much light, well, you know, feel how much lighter okay, it is. So, but lying I, in bed, reading, it's more like a Kindle. I was doing this last night, I, lying in bed reading. With your big one. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm reclining. I've oh, got the pillows so behind me. Yeah. And, you know, it's like I started to fall asleep and it kind of falls that way. Like, it's not, I'm not going to hurt myself. But it's heavy. Well, but I'm not holding it above my head. I'm just resting it on my stomach, basically. <sighs> Look at this. It's so easy and nice and just hold it like that. I think so for, light. if you are like, you know, I'm going to be walking around. I want to throw something in my purse. This is great. Because I actually walk around with my large iPad, my large iPad, my, my iPad 3 right. in my purse all the time. And it sort that's of barely big. fits. Yeah, that's kind of That's kind of heavy. This is good for a purse, a yeah. pocket, um, for, I think for in bed, uh, for carrying around. I just, it's, it's not so small that it feels like you're not, uh, you know, you're not holding an iPad. But it, just understand it's an iPad 2. It's not a retina display. It's not the faster processor. Right. Battery life, though. Uh, according to a lot of people, and it's been my kind of uh, anecdotal experience, is better than any other iPad. Some people are saying 12 hours. You know, it also, it charges real quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, not as quickly as an iPhone, but certainly more quickly than... That's that new charger. Than... That's the 12-watt charger. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, I, I gave it, you know, <laughs> when I'm, you know, when you get down to like 10% or so, you figure, ah, just charge overnight, right. or else it'll just take forever. And this guy charged a lot faster than I thought it would. One thing that I have noticed, you know, when I look at these two of these, it's almost like... The, the, the evolution of the iPhone. I see the way that the bezel on the mini is so small on the top and bottom when you're in landscape mode. And I think, ah, if only the large iPad was just like this. Chad, I don't know if you can, if you can get the shot of this. There you go. You know, it's like, I just don't want all this bezel, but I know that that's because of the way that people hold it in either portrait or well, landscape, Well, and that right? was one of the issues. We, I think we talked about this, and now you can try it for yourself. Uh, because of the thinner bezel, people were afraid that when you hold it in portrait mode, that your fingers will turn pages or somehow impact controls. And what I, Apple did in iOS 6 in, for, for that very reason is they uh, supposedly reject accidental touches yeah, yeah. on the sides. It's like it's almost like an invisible bezel there Yeah. because they don't want you to be right. accidentally going, ah, I keep and clicking these links on the sides of the screen. I'll be honest, I hadn't really figured out one way or the other if it could do it. Mm -hmm. Or what it did, but I haven't noticed any problems with accidental hits, so I think it's working. Whatever. I doing. also I found myself yesterday. I'm holding the iPad and I'm kind of going like, "Sit." Now that's an iPhone app you're using, right? Hey Chad, can you take this shot? What are you doing back there? He's you sleeping? sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping. Jeez, I'm like, uh. and then I thought, wait a second. You can thumb touch. I can actually. That's on a regular app, and certainly on an iPhone app. You yeah, can and I mean, I've got really small hands, so that was kind of awesome. Yeah. Thumb typing to me type. is the most natural way to use one of these keyboards. I far prefer it to the way you have to use an iPad 3 or 4 keyboard with, you know, your, your hands touch typing. So I, I don't know. I just, I think, I like 7-inch, as you know, I like 7-inch tablets, and I just really... Well, this is not 7. It's 7.9. 7 it's not 7.9 either, by the way. What is it? 7.85, just what we thought it would be. Oh, okay. Apple's rounding up. Right. But who cares? 0.05 what? inches it's between smaller. friends. It's a smaller... 
form factor. It's, it's a good form factor. It's working factor. for you. Yeah. Uh, hold it like that. Remember I was saying it, you, I thought you might have to have super big hands to hold it like that? Mm -hmm. This is a little bit of a stretch, but not so much. I mean, not... But but generally you're not gonna you're just gonna hold it like that because I mean, it's so, so light. Up. Actually, okay, so I actually. Do you hold it like that? <laughs> this is not comfortable for no, me. No, it But it can be. be done. It can be done, but it's not comfortable. <laughs> you kind of turn into the claw right. lady. Right. But it can be done. Right, but yeah. I don't think you do. I think you do it like this because it's so light and thin. It's very easy. Yeah, to that's like you that. know that you're right. You're right. This is that's easy. It's fine. Yeah. So all right, we've got minis. Now we just have to figure out how are we going to incorporate a mini into the show where there was always just one kind of iPad I know. in the past. So I don't would... think we need to do anything special. Yeah. I, I think they, it's well, an iPad too. Because they run all the same apps. Right. So, so unless... today I'm gonna, we'll try this, and it does look a little odd. Yeah. I'm just gonna use my mini, yeah. and we'll try this. But I think I think what we'll just do is, and everything we talk about runs on every kind of iPad. Exactly. You don't so, have to make so it So it doesn't matter so much. Right. We'll probably come into, you know, there might be a game or two every once in a while that's just really better on one or the other. In fact, my app cap a little bit later in the show, I feel like it just makes more sense on a larger iPad, but it'll be a case-by-case -case basis. Right. If there are special features that... Uh, uh, honor the mini. We'll mention that as well. Exactly. Hey, for any links that we mention on any iPad Today episode, esteemed episode of this show, this is episode 125. We talk about links in every show, and sometimes you might think, ah, oh, I just don't remember what they said, and where can I find that information? We've got it all written down. iPad Today at twit.tv slash IPT. That's where we live online and perpetuity. You can watch our past episodes. You can subscribe to future episodes. That's me and Eileen last week. You know, Eileen came on and brought her Nexus 7 and she talked a did. little bit about the good and the bad of uh, Android from someone who likes both operating systems. Uh, it was very eye-opening for me, honestly. And she was, you know, she was, uh, was very diplomatic about it. Well... Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A uh, quick reminder that we <laughs> record iPad today. Normally, anybody who's watching this live knows that this is a little bit of, of a unique uh, time slot for us because we're pre-shooting a couple of episodes um, because I'm going to uh, be on vacation next week. Uh, but normally, Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Thanks to everybody who watches live. But if you can't watch live, you can watch us on demand. We don't mind that, too. We have audio feeds. If you want to listen in the car or something you can't watch, but you don't want to miss a show. So thanks to everybody in advance. You know what I want to see? What? You on All About Android. Well, no one's ever asked me. Would you have anything to say? I don't have, have you, that. <laughs> have you ever used an Android? Yeah, yeah, of course. I just don't have one. So I feel oh, okay. like, yeah. You I have mean, used one? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. You know what? Um, it's very open-minded of you. I do not hate Androids. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I, I, I've got this reputation, right? <laughs> no. I'm just very enthusiastic about iOS. As you should And be. it takes up a lot of time, quite frankly, so... We all have to pick I a am. platform. Kind of. Yeah. You look at... I don't know what to do with this. I just thought... I got this Why? lying around. Hold on a second. This is a... Uh, that's shrink wrap that's not even off of an iPad. I know. And this is the new one. This is the fourth generation. Holy... 32 gigs, Verizon, YSL, 4G. That's nicer than either of ours. It's pretty nice. Holy... Huh? Why don't Why? we give this away? Well, to uh, some lucky viewer or listener. Oh. How you're... about that? I, okay, I just did finish telling you that I have such a problem because I, <laughs> I have to have two no, different accounts you don't for all get my one. iPads. You don't get one. So I agree. I don't need any more. Let's give it away. Let's give it away. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, thanks to our friends at GoToMeeting with HD Faces from Citrix. And one of the ways they're giving away iPads is because GoToMeeting works so well with your iPad. Uh, it uses the camera. Uh, it uses the microphone, it uses the headphones, so it's a great way to have video meetings. Of course, GoToMeeting works on a Mac, on a PC, iPad, iPhone, Android phone, and with the built-in HD video conferencing, not only are you sharing screens, sharing presentations, but you're seeing your clients and colleagues face-to-face. -face. Seeing is believing. Meeting is believing with GoToMeeting. So easy to launch or join a meeting from anywhere using your computer, phone, or tablet. You can present from the iPad. That's a new feature they've added. I love that. So here's the deal. We'd love for you to try GoToMeeting absolutely free. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code iPad. And if, if you don't have an iPad, maybe we can get you one. How about that? All you got to do is tweet for us. We're going to do the tweet thing again. Uh, we want to know where in the world you would want to have a meeting from and why for the holiday season. Maybe you'd want to meet with Santa. What? I just 
just love how you're sort of slowly taking <laughs> off the shrink wrap. Oh, dear. It's oh, been opened. No. I guess we can't give it away oh, anymore. Oh, that's a shame. What a shame. This Quick. Uh, <laughs> somebody opened the box. <laughs> Anyway, no, um, I just wanted to prove a, that it is a, what it says it's, it's, it is. There's an iPad in there. Lovely. It's not just an empty box. No. What's and, in the box? <laughs> it's no. an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> it, all you have to do is tweet. Now, this contest starts Thursday, so don't start tweeting now. 11.29 and goes through Tuesday, 12.04. All right, Citrix will pick a winner from all the tweets. And very important that you use the hashtag iPadTodayFree. That's okay, right. so that's hashtag iPad today free. Tweet where in the world you would want to meet from and why this holiday season. And that runs from November 29th through December 4th. Yes. Yes. So that's when you so say so you have a couple of days to if you're watching live to think up your tweet. If you just downloaded the show, today's the day to start 11:29, and you have until Tuesday 12:4, and uh, we will announce the winner on the next iPad today, actually, Yay! which is really great. You don't have to wait that long. Where in the world would you want to meet? I want to meet. I want to go to the North Pole and meet with Mrs. Claus because she's a hottie. Hashtag iPad, iPad today, today free. free. But think of your own, because Leo already ruined that one. Yeah, uh, I think I was anyway. ruined long before <laughs> I said it. And uh, this is fun. We're gonna do. I think we have some more to give away. So we're gonna. That's fun. I like to do that. I it's do fun too. To I mean, away. people really like getting free iPads. And we go try. Go to meeting. Go to meeting.com. Use the promo code iPad free for 30 days, and the apps are always free on the iPad, iPhone, Android as well. Hey, so Leo, what do you think about this whole news that there's a bit more Apple Maps fallout going on wow. at the comp? Pound Another firing at the Infinite Loop. Yeah, uh, Richard Williamson, who oversaw the mapping team, who is now working under Senior VP Eddie Q, who apparently said, ah, "I don't want you in here, you Maps manager." Well, it just Obtain. shows you Apple really took this seriously. That that mm -hmm. the uh, the Maps fiasco, and I think we can call it that, uh, really hurt their reputation. People who upgraded with older hardware to the new iOS 6 felt like they got a downgrade because it took. Yeah. Google Maps out and put in Apple's Maps. And of course, mm -hmm. lots of people complain that the Apple Maps app isn't very good. Uh, Apple has also gone to TomTom Tom and said, help us make our maps better. TomTom is where they get the POI information, the points of interest information. And apparently, according to a story, I think it was in Bloomberg, Apple has been using Yelp information more than the TomTom Tom information. And they really think that the TomTom Tom information might be higher quality. So they're gonna try to get the TomTom uh, Tom information to uh, be preferred. Oh, you know, it's it's really too bad because I, I just realized this is already engraved to iPad today winner from your friends at GoToMeeting. So I guess I can't keep this iPad. I oh, well, unless you're the winner, that would be the worst thing ever. We're, we're <laughs> to iPad today winner. Our, and our that winner is... <laughs> <laughs> and the By winner the way, is... I, I, I forgot to mention U.S. only, and that's unfortunate, but the, but the lawyers require that. This is for U.S. residents only. Void where prohibited by law. You know, we, we should talk about some of this map stuff. Um, maybe we should on uh, the next episode uh, because... There, know, are, there are better and better Maps apps coming out. Google Maps still not here. Are you surprised? Did you think Google Maps would be out by now? I thought so. I'm <laughs> shocked, in fact, that Google has not released a Maps app. Well, we keep hearing it's going to happen. It's going to happen. In fact, I think the last thing I heard was as soon as February for iOS. And no, 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 that's not right. I'm thinking of something. Oh, I'm thinking of Office, uh, Office uh, for iOS. I think I. They better we just, hurry no, up. We just, uh, we don't have dates. And you know, okay. Well, this is what's puzzling me because from a, if I'm Google, I want to get. This is a huge platform, and I want Google Maps everywhere. Google, that's their business model. They don't. They, it, some people said, oh, maybe they're holding it back so that more people will buy Android phones. I don't think Google cares. I think Google wants. <laughs> I think Google wants you to use Google Maps on any platform, and they're missing out a few millions of users. Uh, that they used to have on iOS are gone. So I would think Google's jamming it out. Now, here's the question. Is it is it really taking that long? Is there a reason why? Uh, I find it hard to believe. Mm -hmm. Is Apple holding it back? Or is there somebody internally at Google who's holding it back? Why? I ask you, why are we? do we not have Google Maps yet on iOS? I don't know. I do not know. I know that Apple's making it, uh, you know, as easy as possible. When you go to the App Store, they've got the little, here are some great maps options, a little collection. Um, and there are some good, there are some good uh, apps. However, 
people who say, hey, I used to have Google Maps and that's what I like and that's what I use. Why can't I just have this on an iPhone? Don't necessarily care about learning some other system. Well, there, I mean, that's the thing. I don't think, it, I, I think in the long run, I'm not sure it hurts Apple because there are other choices. It hurts Google. And that's why I don't understand why Google isn't active. Maybe, maybe it just takes that long. May, you know, it would be bad. And this is, this is perhaps what's going on. It would really be bad if Google put out Google Maps and it were terrible on the iPhone, but I don't see why it would be terrible. Why they've done it? this before. They've yeah. done it on Android. Um, We've already seen it not be terrible They've been begging. Yeah, they've been begging. Uh, uh, I'm sure they've been begging Apple to let this happen. I don't know what's holding it up. Anyway. Hey, so, uh, well, Google, we'd love uh, to have your maps back. Yeah. I, I want Street View. I know that there are workarounds. I've talked about a couple of them on, on i5. And but, you can use the web app. That's and you can use the cool. web app, but really, it's pretty clunky. I do not enjoy uh, using uh, Google Maps Street View, for example, on my iPad. It works, but it is not a, a fun, seamless process. It's very sort of jittery and blah. And I think, uh, despite, you know, some beef in the chat room is saying, ah, oh, he doesn't think maps are that important. No, I think that that is one of the top five applications on a smartphone. Sure. I think it's very important. I think, mm -hmm. and, and I think this maps debacle is is a good illustration of how important it is and Apple's taking it very seriously. You know, I was in I was in an unfam unfamiliar city in a rental car last week. I was in Miami. Well, I drove to Miami from Palm Beach and so it's like, okay, what are we going to do? All right, we got, you know, we put in our little destination. We just wanted to get down to South Beach and uh, we used the iPad mini and it was fine. It and worked. the turn by turn directions were fine and we got to where we needed to go and there was no issue at all. Yeah. I know that that's just not always the case though. Yeah. So I, I keep finding these situations where it's like, I really don't know where I'm going. I need a map that works. So I'm not trying to trick it or anything. I'm just trying to get from point A to point B. So it's not as if maps is just some sort of like a hell hole and you'll just go to the wrong place every time and end up crying. It but may it, be it, a little it, but overblown is, even, but it frankly. Is, but it is glitchy though. Because I have, I have found, you know, when you look at a route and you're like, that is not the fastest way to go. Why would he even be suggesting that this? That happens all the time with all mapping applications. Yeah, right? I guess. People seem to think it happens a lot more with Apple Maps. So you know who uh, <laughs> made a little bit of a mistake um, that everybody uh, in the, at least the geek world, got a little uh, bit of a kick out of? Besides me, you mean? Besides you. No, okay. no, no. This, is, this has to do with someone who's almost as famous as you are, Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> I saw this. Oh, my gosh. Her pick. You know, she, Oprah picks every year her oh, favorite things. My, Oprah. my favorite things. And I, I was actually kind of shocked. She's, I'm sure Microsoft was happy when she picked... Windows Surface RT tablets as one of her favorite things. She did. Chad, can you show that that tweet? I've got the, if you scroll yeah. down a little bit, she says, Gotta say, love, love that, that surface. surface. Have bought 12 already for Christmas gifts. Hashtag favorite things. Then scroll down a little bit more. Oh, up. Via. Twitter for iPad. She did it from an <laughs> iPad. What a what a trickster. Oprah. She didn't know what she was doing. I also don't think that that was That ain't probably, Oprah. No. You think Oprah types her own tweets? No. I mean, I'm sure she has. She has people to do that yeah, for her. Yeah. People who apparently she hasn't given Windows tablets to. <laughs> I That's bet funny. you. Here's my thought. That's, that's Oprah's assistant, who's a little mm -hmm. miffed that she wasn't on that list of people who got Surface tablets. So she thought, I'll show her a little tweet on the Twitter. Yeah, right, and then and she then... gets herself fired. What? A, she really showed her, didn't she? Ooh. For about five minutes. I've heard that Oprah Winfrey's ruthless. Sometimes, Actually, I don't know if that's sometimes true. Sometimes that happens. She probably has to be ruthless in order to be that successful. She's generous and ruthless. Oh, yeah. yeah, which is the worst, co you know, you really gotta be careful of the generous <laughs> people that are mean. But I, I just, I thought that was Why terrible. did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> Look under your chair. You might find something <laughs> very. Ex it's a new I've, car. I got it all. Yeah, yeah. I don't you need got any it more all, gadgets. baby. Okay, you know, I never thought I'd say that. I've got too many gadgets. Oh, I know how it feels. Do you? Yes. Oh, it's hard, Far too isn't many it? Gadgets. It is hard. Anyway, I think I don't know, but I would guess Oprah's favorite things are a paid advertisement. I would think. Yeah. I think that's probably that's, the that's case. That's probably why she loves the Surface so much yeah. because. There's some handshaking going on. I would think so. So there's a lot of those Black Friday um, <clears throat> uh, reports and, and, and analyst numbers that come out every year. Did you year. do some shopping uh, on Friday? Well, you know, it was funny. I was telling you this earlier. <clears throat> when I was in Miami last Friday, we walked into an Apple store because we thought, hey, let's see what the South Beach Apple store is like. And it was a zoo. It was insanity. 
it was like there were like pyramids of people and everybody's speaking Spanish. If all the employees are speaking Spanish, all the, it was really kind Miami. of Miami. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it was really it was sort of interesting. I'm like, I think they probably have to speak Spanish in order to work here. Sure. I never heard anybody uh, speaking English. But anyway, um, MG and I are looking at each other like, wow, well, this they is busy. certainly like Apple down in yeah. these parts. My yeah. gosh. <laughs> We realized, oh, it's Black Friday. Black Friday. Duh. We just weren't thinking about it. We were like, yeah, let's go to Miami. Now, Apple did have some, they have traditionally have some Black Friday discounts. Yes. And they, they did have some specials that were going on in store uh, for, I think, oh, I don't know, you get $40 off. They're of, not huge. Yeah. 10% I don't think I, th I don't think there was any deals on a mini, but there were deals on the fourth gen Retina iPad. I think. That's good. Unless I have that backwards. That's good. But yeah, there were, there were definitely some deals. But as far as the online sector goes, uh, several uh, several uh, reports, Comscore being one of them, I think it was Comscore, uh, said people were buying online more than ever on Black Friday. I, I think that's the and, case. And the days surrounding it. The, ta the, the Times said it was a generation gap, that the people my age were still going to the store, mm -hmm. and people your age were using their apps. They might have been in the store, but they were also doing price comparison. They were buying online. It's almost a generation gap at this point. I, I would say that's probably true. Yeah. I'm well, an exception that proves the rule. There was also an interesting st statistic that uh, for the first time of uh, a lot of the uh, sales that were made, like the point of purchase uh, in an, uh, uh, for online sales, uh, clothing and apparel, was actually the number one category. Yeah. The number one category in the past has always been computer and, Isn't and that computer accessories. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Well, then maybe a lot of people are getting to be like you, well, saturated. Well, I think it's a combination of, hey, I don't want to go to the store because it's going right. to be a zoo, and there are really cool apps that allow me to buy things effortlessly. I was buying stuff on the plane when I was right. coming back because I was on a Wi-Fi-enabled plane. It's like I'm just going to do some Christmas shopping. I'm just sitting here. That's it. It's so easy. You know, I go to Jet Setter, I go to Gilt, I go to eBay, you know, all that stuff. So This is definitely the year. You saw Gene Munster of Piper Jaffray. They 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 do this every uh, Black Friday. They go in and they tape an Apple store and they and they count the number of uh, sales. But this year they did the same thing in a Microsoft store and they counted I think it was 13 and a half iPad uh, sales per hour at the uh, Apple store and zero Microsoft Surface tablet sales at the Microsoft store. Well, how many store. hours did they? It was just a couple of hours, but oh. it's, it's not exactly selling like hotcakes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I've, and, I've heard that. And I think it's pretty clear that the iPad and the Mini, I think, is a, is a success. I would guess. I, we have, we'll see the numbers in a bit, but I would guess the Mini is a big hit. This would be a good purchase uh, for the Do you think it's too expensive, 329 The Mini? Yeah. <sighs> Might be a little expensive. I, re I really think that if it's going to be your first iPad and you're excited about it, I mean, yeah, it's more expensive than similar tablets of the size, yeah. but it's still, in my opinion, I mean, it's got the best app ecosystem and, and uh, I, I, think it's, I think it's a lot if it was going to be another iPad. Right. You know, I mean, we have all these for work, right. but if it were me, I would never, for the kids, would, for grandma, for the first iPad, yeah, instead of yeah. a computer. Remember would, the the competition. I would never buy this along with this just right. because. The competition I is two probably sizes. a computer, not a another tablet. But somebody saying, oh, "I'm going to get grandma a, ta a computer." But wait a minute, probably an iPad would be perfect for her. I mm -hmm. bet you. And, and at three twenty nine, now you, that's a competitive price if you're yeah. comparing it to a computer. Well, and anybody who's like, oh, I love it, but it's not as mobile as I'd like it to be. Right. Now you got the small one, and it's right. it's it's perfectly fine. Yeah, so everybody's buying stuff on iPads. In fact, um, if you look at, uh, there was a, um, a little uh, graph here that was, ooh, put it out, Monetate. Um, it was website visits by device. Oh, I saw that, yeah. And, you know, the iPad a year ago had, so we're looking at what, like Q3 2011 was 96.9%. It was basically everything. I mean, right. nobody was even using anything else. Now it's gone down a little bit because you've got Android tablets, uh, coming up in market share. Kindle Fire. Kindle Fire a bit as well. Kindle Fire was, wasn't was even a, a contender um, a year ago because it was brand new. But still, that is... 88% is a pretty good market share. Yeah, uh, 89 I, I pretty take, much. I take that. Yeah, exactly. It's not as good as it was. There is competition, sure. but it's still holding strong. What's interesting, too, is that it just it, tablets in general, you know, even though obviously a year ago uh, it was pretty much all dominated by an iPad, but... A tablet website visit um, 
in, in the e-commerce sector a year ago was about 3.16 as compared to a desktop or a laptop or smartphone. This year it's up to 8.37. So, hey, it's a slow climb, but it's definitely showing an all around shift to using tablets instead of computers. I tell you, Even I saw. I know a tablet is a computer, but you know what I mean. Tablets, I'm sure you had the same experience on the airplane, iPads everywhere. Uh, even on the boat, I thought this was interesting. In the past, on cruise ships, I've seen people with paperbacks. Far fewer people with paperbacks, far more people with Kindles and iPads. Um, I didn't see a lot of Android tablets, but, the, but, but Kindles and iPads everywhere. They've become ubiquitous. They've become a commonplace as opposed to some fancy special thing. Everybody's got one. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Oh, you got an iPad. No big deal. Everybody's got one. It, to the point where sometimes, uh, especially, especially on a plane, because you see everybody's got, you know, their, 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 yeah, iPads or Kindles out. And I'll, you know, sometimes you're like waiting in line for the bathroom. So I just start like, what's that guy got on his home screen? Oh, that's kind of weirdly set up. Strange folder choices. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even concerned. I'm like, it's an iPad. Got it. But how do you have it all set But let me set? look at what is in his home Yeah, page. what yeah. game are you playing? Ugh, I would never play that, you know, so. It's all, uh, it's all, uh, in fact, well, actually, you know, it's funny, ha, this huh. actually is a really good lead-in. Because Dan wrote us, um, and he actually said, great uh, great show last week, uh, our last episode, which Thank we actually Thank God you got rid of that Leo ago. guy. Yeah, well, yeah. it was ladies for a while, which yeah. I know some of you probably appreciated. Yeah. Uh, uh, Eileen Rivera, as I mentioned, gave us a look at the Nexus tablet and some of the pros and cons. And, you know, one of the things that she said she liked so much about it was because the home screen is so customizable, she can keep the whole thing very clean. She's got her background of her choice. I think it was a, a picture of her dog. And, 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 and just quick shortcuts to do everything that you want to do, whereas in iOS, there are certain things that you always just have to go through settings to get to. You know, if you want to toggle Wi-Fi on and off uh, easily. Oh, that's a nice thing for those widgets. You can have a, yeah. a button on Yeah, and the she screen. had a really nice clean home screen. I said, that actually would be nice because you can't really do that on iOS without sort of cheating. Dan says, I'm sending you a picture of my iPad mini Ooh, home screen uh, to show you how I have it set up. Wow. No apps on the screen. Everything in folders on the dock. I only have 37 apps, but it seems like you'd be able to fit 100 on the screen this way. He says, unfortunately, it doesn't work on my iPhone because it's got less real estate. But that's a weird background. I don't really know what I'm looking at. I guess a recipe. Oogly fruit. A recipe. That's o an oogly fruit. Oogly fruit? Yeah. Is that like dragon fruit? No. Yeah, dragon it's oogly. Fruit. Oogly? I think so. Okay. Passion fruit? I don't think that's passion fruit. It's oogly fruit. It's weird. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Now we must know. I, it's a very strange desktop because I. Well, do those things go together? Carnation. Uh, well, I think he's he. It, it's it's probably like the makings of his favorite meal or something, right? I don't. Because gelatin, why else would that be your desktop? Fruit. But the point is, is that's just a background image. Make it whatever you want. Milk. He has, and you can see. No, I understand what he's doing. <laughs> but you're you're transfixed by la lechera. La lechera. Whatever that is. He must be from Miami. He might be actually, Dan. The chat are you room from has the chat room, chat room has convinced it's passion fruit. Passion fruit. I had no idea passion fruit was so ugly. It looks awful. That's why I call it ugly fruit. It tastes delish though. Because yeah, it's ugly. Uh, so thanks for that screenshot, Dan. You know we used to do that. We we used to say send us uh, your send home us your screen. home screen. That's a unique one. I've never seen anybody do that. No, because he wants everything to be hidden. I kind of do that though. I have a home screen with icons of stuff that I use on it. And then my second screen is, so this is stuff I go to all the time. This is my, uh, this is all folders. Second screen is folders. Yeah. Actually, uh, let's see, there's, this is the home screen. This is the game screen and then all folders. So I, I use three screens because, but I want my home screen to have quick, I don't want to open a folder to do stuff. You have three screens? Yeah. And then the photography is a folder on the home screen because there's so many photography apps. I yeah, have yeah, I, I do. Photography. Yeah. I have uh, a lot of apps, a lot of cooking apps, shopping apps, travel apps, music apps. So like you use the, a lot of folders on your home I, screen? Well, I do for the stuff where it's just like, it's a category that I'm going to use all the time. Right. So why bury it? Right. I just want it front and center every time, I, every time I hit that home button. Hey, Leo, I was hearing you. I was overhearing one of your other shows earlier. And you, uh, again, you keep changing your mind about your next car. Yeah. And now you're all convinced I'm that it's I'm excited about be... this. Well, you will like this because you're a hippy-dippy. Yeah. Uh, I've been driving a muscle car. 
eight cylinders, powerful. Yeah. My Mustang, my 20 You took me for a ride once, and I was like, whoa, didn't this the, is didn't a little kind intense. Of admit it, the, the rumble excited well, you yeah, a bit. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're you know, driving down city streets at 25 miles an hour, and I'm like, we could, we could get to 60 pretty quick. <laughs> In second gear, baby. Yeah, right. But I was thinking maybe it's not the most eco-friendly choice, and I thought I probably should drive it electric or I wanted an electric car, but then the problem is the range. So I looked at the new 2013 Ford Fusion, and first of all, as a geek, this is the car for me. It, now, they have, uh, uh, of course, a gas Fusion with 40 miles per gallon highway, so that's great. But they also have the Fusion Hybrid, and they have the plug-in Fusion. And this is what I decided. I really want this car. So the plug-in Fusion is an electric vehicle except when you need longer range or more power, then the gas engine kicks in. So mm -hmm. you get a really great mileage. In fact, if you're just bopping around town, which is probably what I do 90% of the time, no gas at all. But as, but as soon as you need, you go on the highway or you're going you know, a longer distance, you have the gas. So you're never really, uh, you know, the range is fantastic. And look at this beautiful vehicle, but then get inside and the technology in there is really exciting. For instance, uh, they're, they've got a new feature in there. They have a camera in the front that watches the lanes, the lines and the lanes. And if you start to veer out of the lane because you're out of inattention or maybe, you know, you're drifting, your steering wheel bumps, you know, kind of like the, we have in California, the dots on the road on yeah. some roads. And you go, brrrr. This it does this automatically, even if there's no dot, just the, from the lines. And then if you go even farther, it'll actually help you steer it back into the lane. It knows where the lane is. And wow. It goes, okay, get, come on. Now, if you do the turn signal, it disables it, and you turn. So it's very smart. This is one of a, I mean, they're really starting to put this technology in here to help you be a safer, better driver. That's why I like the Ford Sync, because you keep your hands on the wheel and the eyes on the road. There's also radar. This is amazing. Forward-looking radar built into the car. Now... One of the things Ford sees these cars as platforms. They're putting all these sensors and tools in there so that they can add more features or more features perhaps on your devices that attach this. But right now, one of the things they're using it for is adaptive cruise control. So, you know, you set the I love cruise control, but it, I know it drives people crazy because I turn it on and I'm just sitting here like this. This is adaptive. So if it sees cars ahead, it slows you down. The radar says, no, let's not. It actually speeds you up and slows you down depending on traffic ahead. It also will warn you they've got um, red flashing lights that go on the windshield, their heads-up display, if the potential front crash is detected. So they're just doing so many cool things. If you want to know more, you can go to Ford.com slash technology, or better yet, take a test drive. Drive one at a Ford dealer near you today. The 2013 uh, Fusion is coming, I think, in the next couple of months. I know that it's not all about what a car looks like on the outside. Isn't that sweet? It is Probably the nicest Ford I know. I've ever seen. It's no, it's a no compromise vehicle for me. That's yeah. what I'm really excited about, and I've decided I. It's beautiful. I know, I know. I'm excited. I love that. I know. Gosh, isn't that sweet? I just hate my car more than ever right now. It's very affordable too. But that's the see. That's the beautiful thing about it. And watch, because Ford's got some announcements coming up at CES. Woohoo! Very exciting. Good stuff. times. Yep. Ford.com/slash. Technology. Hey, so we got some feedback from you viewers. We actually started talking about it uh, a little bit earlier because we talked about Dan's home screen, but we also got an email from Lauren in Florida. I was in your neck of the woods not even a week ago. She's a uh, laser one in chat, she says. She says, uh, uh, you know, there was a, I think it was la on the last show. Maybe it was the show that I did with Shannon. We were talking about, now, isn't there some sort of an app that'll alert you when something goes on sale or becomes free? <laughs> what? What? Nothing. What are you laughing at? You, really, you said shopping and cooking, and I didn't believe you, but in fact, that's all you care about. No, I'm talking about when an app. Oh, an app. A, 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 an app for your iPad. Yes. Ah. Oh, there's several of those. Yeah, I, apps, shopping, and cooking are actually the only things I care about. And cats. <laughs> cats. Four things. Four things. Cats. Yeah. But, but if you could cook a cat or shop for a cat, now, then you'd be happy. Shopping for a cat, it's all right. Let's, <laughs> let's rein it in a little bit. Uh, but uh, Lauren says uh, she wants to vote app shopper. And I think that that was something yeah. that someone had uh, suggested uh, in the chat room that was... Uh, a really, really good option for people who are, you know, you want to make so sure that you, you're making smart decisions. You mentioned this before, right? That, that it would, it would, it would notify you uh, when an app price dropped or was free. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Lauren says, what's cool is that once you set up your account on the website and you turn on alerts, 
you will be alerted anytime an app on your wish list is updated or changes price. Does that uh, happen a lot? Yeah, oh yeah, oh my gosh. There's always sales. In fact, there were some Black Friday sales I missed well, on apps. There's Black Friday sales, but then there's also developers know that if they can get a little bit of an interest Buzz. surge yeah. from people who all kind of get it at the same time yep. and yep. then tell their friends, this is really great, and then you know maybe goes up to $199 or $299 or something that's for many people will still be affordable because now they have the recommendation from a friend that's trusted, True. then it all becomes worth it. Um, she says they even give a history of the app's price over time so you can see, well, maybe it's kind of due to come down soon. It, they haven't had a discount in a while. Then they have a buy link which takes you right to the app in the app store, so it's really easy. We have talked about App Shopper in the past, but not in a while, and I know that tis the season for lots of deals, so. That's just one app, which is free, obviously. It's it's free to just, it's free to look on App Shopper. So you should definitely get that if you care about saving money. And why wouldn't you? And why wouldn't you? And why, indeed. Did you see the uh, article about, um, it's kind of a scam on the App Store, where people will push an app, a dumb app, very simple, stupid app, but put it out there. And I guess as a developer, even after the app is on the App Store and been accepted, you can change a few things like the name, pictures. And what they'll do is um, they'll put out an app that's really a dumb app, and then they'll change the name to something that looks just like the app you're looking for. So you've got to be careful on the App Store because you can be tricked into down. And this has happened to us a couple of times, downloading apps we thought were one thing and they weren't. It was, it's basically a scam. Uh, oh, I see. So yeah. they just they they add some sort of innocuous. They put out something that Apple will approve. Yeah, and, and then, then and then they go camera plus plus. Yeah, type of a thing. I saw this on uh, um, App Advice. I think was uh, talking about it. Um, it's there was one called Mooncraft. <laughs> That's not Minecraft. But it, but it looks like was Minecraft. Was it designed to confuse? Yeah, it's it's a <laughs> it's a trap. So don't believe it. Um, don't, 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 don't <laughs> believe the hype. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's just a dumb counting game. So be very, you got to be careful. Mooncraft, <laughs> not the same as Minecraft. You heard it here. Chad, don't let that confuse you. I won't. <laughs> He's like, yeah. OMG not craft. Not a chance. Yeah. We got another email from Tommy who says, I was thinking about this whole Apple releasing a second generation iPad in the same year. I figured they want the iPad to match other features like the HD front camera and the lightning connector, but I think they also reset the cycle because when people buy iPads for others during the holiday season, if a new iPad came out a few months ago, then, and it's in October, customers don't feel screwed over when the new one comes out. So what he's saying is, if you buy an iPad for somebody in March, it's like, oh, it would have been such a nice holiday gift. But if then it's coming out in October, and this is assuming that it's still just going to be on an annual cycle and they might be changing it to the end of the year, fall instead of spring, it just makes more sense for people who are buying during the holiday season. I mean, it makes sense. I, I, I don't feel like Apple's just going to release everything right before the holidays because that's where they're going to make all their money. That's definitely where you see a big surge of sales. And they release the gadgets, the, you know, the consumer -y devices then. Yeah. But they don't, the computers are going to sell you around. Right. So it just depends what they're, I think, I think they're smart enough to know and notice what sells well when and, and make sure that they populate the stores at appropriate times. But it's still weird because the iPad has always sold really well in March. I mean, it's... Because it's, it came out in March. Right. So but it sold well in March because it came out in March. But it was what, a new but iPad. But what Tommy's saying is, so we just got essentially a new iPad... And they didn't wait till March, and everybody got mad but about then, it. But you see, he's assuming it sold well because it was March. It sold well because it was the new iPad yeah. and came out in March. So when it's the new iPad that comes out, it doesn't matter. It comes out in November. It's the new iPad. It will sell well in November. There's nothing magic about March. <laughs> is that what he's thinking? Well, I think what he's thinking is it's an annual cycle. So now maybe Apple's thinking, let's just move it closer to the holidays when people of might course. be buying for their yes. loved ones. Yes. And then we're not going to have a March anymore. Yes. Okay, so you're all in agreement then. Yes. Leo and Tommy agree. <laughs> but that Everybody's seemed happy. obvious. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Nice job. You're right. Got a voicemail from Chris who has a tip for the music app. I thought we could sort of follow along with him. Listen. Hi, this is Chris from Grafton, Wisconsin. I'm um, calling with a dog tip. Um, I've been looking for 
a way to swipe to change tracks and music app for years, and it looks like they've actually finally added it to the iPad only in iOS 6. If you go into the music app, tap on the album cover up near the controls up on top, it takes you to the black album only screen, and if you swipe from right to left on the album cover, it will actually change tracks. Oh, you need more than one Thanks. track. Have a good one. Duh. Hey, do you have an album on there? I I didn't really follow him. What did he say? Just open up the music app. What? <laughs> it's too complicated for me. All right, so let me let me sort my uh, sort my stuff by album. Of albums. course, everything I have is because you know, I, I buy single okay. songs. So the small bezel is now not going to work for me on this stand. Okay, this is the best of you two. There's ten cuts in here. Now I now think what? what he said was. Oh, I should start playing one. Yeah. Yeah, and then I swipe. Well, crap. Uh, we, I didn't understand what he said, so I don't follow it. Chris, help. Does anybody, did anybody understand what he said? I thought I did. I thought he said that there was a black bar. And... Yeah, once... Okay, so uh, now click... See in the controls area, there's another little thing to uh, click the album. Make it bigger. Uh, next, Right next to that. Little icon. Yeah. There you go. There oh, you go. this oh. one. Now, now... That's... These are different tracks. They all look the same because it's an album. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's neat. Thank you. Ch Chad that's... obviously knew this. No. Well, no, Chad's yeah. just younger and yeah, just yeah. faster than I, I, Of course, it's intuitive. Anybody should be able to figure that but you know out. What's, you know what's neat about this that I actually like? What? So the album cover is actually, you know, it's still to me. I like album covers. I think it's like a beautiful part of, you know, an album if I really like a band. Yeah, but so, you only get the front. You never get the back where you can read the liner notes. Well, just... Hold I want your horses. Bring back liner notes. Album cover usually indicates you're looking at the front of the cover. And if you've got your iPad up on a stand, you're listening to U2, then you can quickly still always be looking at the album cover, but still I be agree, able but to it'd be nice it. if it showed somewhere the name of the track. Well, you are really I, not easy to please. I, I just, I don't, but it's all the same picture. Because so, it's the same album, dork. But if it just showed the name of the track, I'd know what I was going to. Yeah, maybe it would be nice if it hovered over, you know, maybe even just like a little... Okay, yeah. Uh, See what I'm saying? See where I'm going? I guess if you do that, now it's, does this still work? So you can see, now you can see it. All right. See, now I can see it. Sucking a big bottle of gin. Fools fall in love tonight. I think I'm going to go downtown. So now, okay. So that's it. So if you want the full album because you're Sarah Lane, you can do that. But if you tap it again, and you still can do this scrolling thing, but you'll get the name of the tracks at the top. I like full albums. You Sue like to see the whole me. thing. You want to see the whole... Unless it's on this iPad, because thing. I don't actually have my music collection on this Got iPad. It. So it's just All a right. bunch of Took us a while. It was a duh, duh tip that we didn't really understand. Well, because duh. Duh. Yeah. We're dumb. <laughs> Finally, we got a Siri tip. Yay! Yay! Siri tip. Let's hear it. From Renan. Uh, well, he's... He, He's going to tell us about it. Uh, it says, it's less of a duh tip, and it's a cool thing that Siri can do tip. Did you know what? that you can find out if there are planes directly above you at any given point in time? No. All you need to do is tell Siri to ask Wolfram what flights are overhead. <laughs> really? tell you. Not the most practical thing, but still fun to try. Try it. What flights are overhead? Let me check on that. I found this. These are the flights right above us. What are they? Air Canada, 562, SkyWest. That is why. There's a UPS flight right above us. It's probably got your new iPad in there. So, that is really cool. Do you ever look in the sky? You know, it's like, it's like a beautiful sunset, and you see a plane, and you go, I wonder what is who's that? on that plane and where they're all going. <laughs> and you could just say, Siri, How does it even know where I overhead? am? Siri, because you've, oh, you've location. Geolocation. But this is the Wi-Fi Live iPad. in the now. Well, you have Wi-Fi triangulation. I guess I do. Yeah. Wow. Because, you know, I can look 17 degrees up. Mine. 14 Hello. degrees up. 21 miles northwest. 13 miles west. That is cool. That is really neat. That's not a That's a good tip. Siri is very smart. Well, it's a Siri tip. It's actually a Wolfram Alpha Siri Yeah. Tip. But what's kind of nice is, is, is Renan said... To ask Wolf from what flights are overhead, but you didn't actually even have to say that. Siri's like, I know who will know. Right. Let's go to Wolf from Alpha. Neat. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Good tips this week. Uh, thanks, everybody who wrote in. Uh, we love using your feedback, so keep them coming because you're just, 
You're smarter you're make, than we could ever yes. be, just the two of us. Pretty obvious. If yeah, you I watch. think that's pretty clear yeah. uh, today more than ever. Yeah. <laughs> we do want to hear from you, though, so write us at iPad today at twit.tv. Leave us a voicemail at 757 504 IPAD or 4723. Or for extra points, you can always send us a video. I don't think we've had a video in a while. So if you want to send one, just upload it somewhere and send us the link. And thanks in advance. Very nice. Uh, so, Leo. Yeah. What's happening? Oh, I want to talk a little bit today about watching TV on my iPad Mini is a very good choice for the Slingbox software. Oh, is it? I love it. By the way, they just had a sale on the software. I hope you took advantage of it. And they've got brand new Slingboxes. <gasps> Have you seen the Slingbox 500? Yeah, Ooh. it looks like a spaceship. It is so pretty. They, you know, it's funny when the Slingbox came out. I did. I didn't care what it looked like. It looks like a gold. The original one looked like a gold brick, with with that moths had eaten. It had little holes in it, but it didn't matter. First of all, because it worked so well, it worked. It was like, who cares? It could. I don't care what it looks like, because it works. You you put it behind your TV anyway. You connect your DVR, your satellite box, your cable box, whatever you got, and then you connect it to the internet, and it allowed you to watch TV anywhere. But this looks like Frank Gehry designed it. This new one is beautiful. And you know, it looks like a museum of modern art. Oh, I just love it, and they've added <laughs> it features. Does. It's got Wi-Fi built in now, so it works anywhere in the house. HDMI connectivity and full 1080p video, so you're now getting high def TV. So once you connect to the internet, what it does is it's basically now an internet portal to your home theater system. You log in with your password, and you can watch anything on your home theater system. In, in high def, you can do it on a smartphone, you can do it on a laptop, you can do it on your iPad. It turns your iPad into your home television set. Really great. If you're going to a game, it's really fun. And this is where the mini is going to be fantastic. Uh, if you're at DMV, I was just at DMV in a long line, wanted to watch Oprah. Fortunately, I, Oprah's off the air, but I have a bunch on my DVR. I was able to watch it. You control your DVR, by the way, with a Slingbox. So it's, you can set recordings, watch anything. Uh, and you, there's no additional fees. They've got apps for all the major platforms. Slingbox, the new 500 is out. I want you to check it out at Amazon, a Best Buy, Fry's has it, or slingbox.com slash twit. It is everybody's favorite gadget. And by the way, I've said before, uh, don't buy a gadget hound a gadget. But if your gadget hound friend doesn't have Slingbox, that is a great holiday gift. Oh really my gosh. a great holiday gift. I mean, they will love it. They will flip out over it. It's one of those things where maybe they thought, oh, I'm not going to buy that for myself. But if you buy it for them, they'll make them very happy. Slingbox.com slash twit. So I was so excited to show off my app cap. And I still am. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you can't because you're not wearing. Well, because I'm not wearing my. <laughs> a big hat with feathers. That's more like it. Hotsy totsy. Now, if you had that in Miami, you'd have been the hottest thing on the beach. Caliente. <laughs> Muy caliente. I think I got to do this. And I wore this to Edmonton. Beautiful. I wear, actually was at Toronto for the Grey Cup. Uh, and, uh, did you boo Justin Bieber? No. I heard he was booed. Well, they the had Gordon, Cup. first they have Gordon Lightfoot, who's about 800 years old. Uh-huh. Sunday. The wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Yeah. That? I love that song. Oh, I love that song, yeah. too. The captain knew it was all Burr. going and record it man for sure. And then, so they got this great classic. I mean, this is a Canadian artist of great renown. And then they bring in the other Canadian artist of the great Biebs. renown. The Biebs. Justin Bieber. Well, but, but that he's was Canadian. They hit all the Aren't generations. they just proud in yeah. general? Yeah, no, they hit all the generations. It was good. Well, look at this hat. And there's go, go a, Argos. There's a lot of stuff. Go Argos. You look, you look good in it. I feel good. You look like Chanticleer the Pirate. <laughs> Clown. Well, okay, so what I was saying is I was so excited to talk about my app cap. Yeah. And then you know you what happened? You forgot to install it. No. What? I did install it. Yeah? You guys scooped me on the Daily Gizwiz. We did an app? Yeah, you did the freaking ACDC pinball. Oh, but you should go get the piece of hardware that goes with it. No, I didn't have that. That's pretty funny. Uh, that I, was your app? It still is It's awesome. It's, it's awesome. Is. Go ahead. Know. Do okay. it. I had I, no idea. Well, I just, I sat there Did you really? Stewing. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I thought, I'm just kidding. It's fine. It's, it's a great app. It's, uh, the Giz was this week was really, really good. You should watch it because there was more than just this one app. But uh, this caught my eye because, you know, the ACDC came to iTunes very recently. I know. For the first time ever. I know. It I know. Finally, the group's like, eh, fine. 
buy one song, you know, buy it's just an great album, minds they don't care. Think a lot because we had this new pinball controller, the Duo, that gives you flapper flippers. Uh -huh. You slide your iPad into it, and it was really cool. And it comes with a uh, an app for pinball. And the ACDC is not free, but it has a couple of free things. But I saw the ACDC, and I said. Oh, I really want to play oh, that. Oh, it's the best. So, okay, so yeah, give me is... the. Let me show you, show people the duo because this is really cool. Oh, so your yes. iPad. Whoa. Ah. I love it. So your iPad slides into that, right? Connects via Bluetooth, and then it has real flippers and a real plunger, just like a pinball game. So if you have that, that's amazing. How much is that? Um, I don't Do you know. remember. Can't it's be from that Discovery much. Bay Games. Uh, I don't know. I uh, I'll find out. All right. How much? 60, that sounds 60. about right. Well, this is $2.99 if you just want the app. And you don't need this to play that. You, no, you don't. It, it would just be, that's kind of just a nice, it's like a game controller, But right? it was fun. Did you see how fun that game is? Oh, well, check it's this out. It's your app cap. I so guess this, you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. So this is my pinball game. Now, can you guys see? Take <laughs> <laughs> this damn hat off me. So all I'm really doing is touching the left and the right with my thumbs. Could be, you know, any finger. Oh, but you want to play it right. You got to put the duo on there. Oh. Well, now you're screwing me up because you're making me yeah, feel like I'm... Yeah, you suck. Well, you suck. You would suck more if you were playing this. Quarters. I'm putting a quarter on there. And it's freaking ACDC the whole time. It is great. It's the, it's the real music. Oh, yeah. And, but do they ever say... Because they, they said to me, you rock and you win a lot. Well, you know what? Oh, look. I get to enter my local scores. Great. Put, put, it, put it in here. What's try. neat, though... No, well, hold on now. Hold on. It's this already my paired, it's already paired to your iPad, you know. I paired it for you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Oprah Winfrey loves ACDC, by the way. Oh, loves them. Loves them. Almost as much loves as Loves them. Yeah. But the, what's kind of neat in the settings is, as I was playing it, this Game started. It doesn't See? really bother me that. Okay, you're seriously. Was that Angus? Okay. Game I'm, started. I'm gonna do this. You know they're from Australia. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're from Australia, just like you'd like to. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Or, or, or. Yeah. Oh, look at me. Hey, I'm good. You got flames shooting out of there? That's Twice. cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's yeah. good stuff. Oh, yeah. She's getting now, if serious. It, if it bothers you that it's like you can't see the whole thing at once. It has a little, I little did, squish mode. Yeah, you can actually go into settings. Yeah. You can go into a camera. And you can say multi-ball static cam, or I'm sorry, uh, camera mode. Right now I'm flying, but I Isn't can say Isn't it funny static. that ACDC was not even on iTunes, but they did license a pinball game? Yeah, well, it's all kind of around the same time, right? Maybe it was all together. So this is the same game. You can see my ball still up here, but it's a little bit like I'm hovering over. <laughs> I got to take the hat off. <laughs> you know, I just had it. <laughs> It was the first time I really felt a hat was a hindrance. <laughs> that was the App Cap Awards. You ruined this, you dumb jerk. I don't hate you. I almost gave you this hat, and then I thought, no, she's the pirate lady. <laughs> I'm a dirty pirate hooker. Oh. So, yeah. Very it's, nice. It's, uh, this is really actually a very fun app. That's the duo, but you don't have to have the duo, and it's only $2.99 if you just wanted to have the yeah. ACDC It's an ACDC pinball, pinball, pinball game. Get the HD version, though. That for the you iPad. Know, I, I was very good at this earlier, okay? I kind of consider myself a pretty decent pinball player, so. Oh, you could play in uh, in portrait, uh, landscape mode, too. That's nice. Oh, yeah. You can. Yeah. You know. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, it's right. very three dimensional. I think, believe it or not, this pinball is great on touch screens. It is. It's one of the. F you know, you know, I've talked about this before. I don't like how you a lot. Rock. Of yeah, see? I you rock. You rock. There you go. You yeah. Set off the flames. All right, that's enough. You get it. It's two ninety nine. It's well, fun, and ACDC's great. And you rock. And I rock. All right, mine I got for free. Sinestra! I got for free at Starbucks. Oh, what? Did you? I think we mentioned this, but Starbucks every Tuesday puts gives away a free app for the iPhone or the iPad. I have heard that. And you go into a Starbucks, yes. you get a card, and you get a code. And you love Starbucks, so you're actually there a lot. No, but yes, I, what you I do, do be honest. you don't actually have to buy anything. You just walk in the Starbucks, take the card, and leave. <gasps> oh, okay. Sometimes you have to run if they see you, but well, otherwise it's fine. Uh, and this week it was Sonic 4 Episode 2, but I have to tell you, uh, there's Sonic, I've been downloading Sega. all this. There's Sonic CD, which is the original game. Did you hear that? Chad, did that get you a little chill when you heard Chad? Oh Sega. my gosh! I no, I was. We had we had a uh... heck yeah.
It's the we it's, had a Sega Genesis that we played me Sega too. on. Me too. Nonstop start. It's got multiplayer. Um, uses Game Center. Uh, I just think it's so much fun, and it really is. Uh, now this is episode two. This is this is I think, but correct me if I'm wrong, Chad. I don't think this is from the original. This is a new episode. Um, this I believe was on the Sega uh, like. Jaguar or something uh, weird. Okay, so this um, isn't a new game. And it, it may be updated because I don't remember them having this nice of of animations. Yeah. So it may be the same levels, but it's it's new and improved. Well, that, and that's what I like about this because it, the you know if you had say if you had Sonic on the Dreamcast or on the Sega, not the Dreamcast, the Sega Genesis, this looks a lot better. But it is just as fast as it's playable. You're doing the same thing. Jaguar was Atari. Everyone's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting the rings. Whoops! I jumped over the rings. Whoa. Now your hat's in the way. Yeah, it is. These yeah. stupid hats. Whose idea was this? Uh, I, don't, I don't think he works here. Yeah. yeah, thank goodness he's gone. Yeah. All right, I'm not very good at this. Neither's your hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't. Anyway, you get the idea. It's if Sonic. You, if you like Sonic. Just just listen to the music. Just put on the music in the background. Do is just let the music go. Let the music play. It's really fun, but I got to point out that there. Are, uh, this is just one of quite a bit of so of Sonic uh, on the uh, on the App Store, and you probably should start with the first one, which is Sonic CD, and then work your way slowly through them, iPad and iPhone. And uh, I don't know. I just I have a thing about Sonic. Now I have to say, unfortunately, the controls, as you can see, are not kind of ideal. It's because it's trying to do a, jo a joystick or a thumb pad mm -hmm. or something like that. Sonic it's CD. It's more nostalgia, was, right? It, it's, it's nostalgia. This is the, I'm a, I thought I already bought this. This is the original game, which you will absolutely recognize from your Genesis days. Um, and this came out about a year ago. That one was episode two, free at Starbucks uh, until the next free game. And it's every Tuesday there's something new free. Uh, at Starbucks, I think that's really, uh, really awesome. That's a reason to go, yeah. that's for sure. Well, you don't have to drink the coffee. Just go and get a game and leave. Well, you get yourself a little sandwich Those or something. Those baristas, they got no wind. They, they're they good at sprinting because they have a lot of caffeine, but they you, if you can get three blocks, Oh, you mean you gone. can outrun them after oh, yeah. you steal the app? Oh, yeah. Well, it is free, so it's not really stealing <laughs> if it's kidding. free, right? I'm just kidding. They don't mind. Go and take a card. <laughs> I can't imagine someone saying, hey, you, you didn't buy a coffee. Get back here. What do you want? <laughs> Mochaccino? All double, right, all right, I'm a mochaccino. Double half cap, latte, goat cheese. We, uh, we're we doing these shows a little out of order right now. We're going to be back. They're in order. They're just at weird times. So anybody right. who's watching live, we're going to do another one tomorrow, same time, same place. Wednesday yeah. at roughly 4 or 5 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> Correct. And then Thursday, regular time, and they'll be... They'll be if you, then, if you watch after the fact on Thursdays, it'll all be you shouldn't normal. even... Yeah, right. there's no even, no even reason for us to tell you this. Right. We've already broken the magic. Well, no, I think you should know because, yeah. yeah. And you're going to go to Paris in a couple, in next week and have a I wonderful am. time. But uh, we will have all the shows done ahead of time. That's right. So that's yeah. that's the good. Were you, the good we, we 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 wouldn't. Uh, Are leave we you doing hanging. a best of uh, iPad today? I don't know. Are we for we've Christmas. Ne we've never done one before. We certainly could. Um, I thought you know usually we do sort of like year end. We'll do a year ender. Yeah, I think that makes a little bit more sense for us. We are doing Otherwise, best ofs for a lot of the shows. Twit. Yeah, we do. Uh, Mac Break Weekly, uh, Before You Buy. So if you have a picks for our best of shows, you can go to twit.tv slash best of and suggest a great moment. That's right. Uh, in, in one of the shows. And we will we'll edit those all down. And uh, that'll be for our holiday week. We usually do that so we can give mm -hmm. people some time off. But normally, iPad Today is on every Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific. 4 p.m. Eastern. 4 p.m. Eastern time. Something UTC. Well, it's now plus 8. So it's 2100 UTC. So good at that. Mm -hmm. Twenty one hundred. It's now plus eight because we're in summer. We're off summertime. We're in we're, we're in yeah, we're back time. in standard. Right. Where it's dark and sad and stormy yes, every day. Yes, but that's yes. it for this edition of iPad Today. Thanks everybody for watching or listening, tuning in live, chatting with us. Chat room, you're the best. And uh, we'll see you next time on iPad Today. Oh. Now see this you could do with a hat on. Oh.